Charlie Parsons Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here post-fight. Anthony Joshua beats Jermaine Franklin. We've got a mad load of stuff going on here. Um, just your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, I think... Uh Competitive, a bit of everything, it might be a drama, a bit like fucking EastEnders. But, um, yeah, so, um, I need a minute to dissect that, you know. I expected, uh, I expected AJ to get mad there, but massive credit to Franklin, you know, he's a good fire. Good fire. I'll just let Talksport come through. I'm not trying to get forward. Um, just, um, obviously, it was a points decision for Anthony Joshua. A lot of people saying that he needed to get the knockout tonight. What did you make of it? I mean, need, need, need is what we wanted, but never happened, did it? You know what I mean? I think. I don't know, I need to assess that one again. I think there's still things you can work on, like everyone. But job done. Back in the O2, uh, got the win. But we wanted to, uh, I went to see a knockout, but he was slippery, you know, Jermaine Franklin. No excuses. Uh, but he got the win, that's the important thing. What is next for him now? We talk about, AJ said in the build-up, Fury needing him. Is that the case? I mean, we've saw everything that's happened with Fury Usyk. In your eyes, what's next for AJ? Get me, I'm not into politics. I'm not into politics. Uh, fuck it, you what know would you what? like to see? The white rematch? What I'd like to see is like big grown men, boxers, that are already multi-multi-millionaires, bang their heads together and just have a fucking fight, do you know what I mean? I'll fight them. I'll fight them. I've only had six. I give a foot, you know what I mean? But some of these guys, man, like, come on, get your heads together, man. You lot are rich as fucking rich can be. And I get it, but these lot, all these lot, these lot, these lot pay your bills. You know what I mean? These lot make you that rich, so they want to see the fights that happen, you know what I mean? Just quickly, um, moving forward for Joshua, I suppose, is it going to be more staying out in the O2? I mean, he wanted Wembley. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a learning curve, it's a restart of his career. Can he keep moving forward in this same way? Listen, that's Andy Joshua, man. Like, you can butter up how you want. He could, he could come out here and have a snooze fest, knock him out in the last round, he can fill this place, no problem. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's entertainment. Listen, you know, despite what the result was, that fight was entertaining, man. I, uh, when I enjoyed it, I was up and down. Because he had his moments, well, frankly, you know, and then, obviously, <laughs> AJ's getting a bit of a reputation, you know, at the end, at the end of the fight, she's mad. a madman. You know what, you know what, He's, he is a madman, yeah. there's no getting away from it, the guy is nuts. He's not in the way his head on the guy. Oh, but he's just, you know what it is? He's not having it, he didn't want to get in too into it, but he nearly went there, didn't it? You know what as I mean? Franklin cemented himself as a world level fighter. Yeah, he's a good fighter, quality fighter. Uh, he can mix with the big boys, uh, and I think he was looking to get some big fights. Fraser, just quickly, Fabio Wardley, um, what did you make of it? A lot of people saying the stoppage was slightly too early. Um, you want him next? I want him next. You know what? Um, not a bad performance from him. Tricky opponent. I want him next. Like I say, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to, to bad mouth and this and that to make a fight. He's a British champion. I think I'm, I think I'm at that level. I want to fight him. Um, the rest of it is out of my hands. Hopefully, you know, the, the board can see this interview and make it mandatory. That way, there we've got to fight. Do you know what I mean? Where is the clock, top man? Thank you.